Hey, it's Kenesha. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. I've been changing up my decor, as you can see. I have my Chanel and Hermes decor. I have my Louis Vuitton art decor, and I hope you all like it. All right, so today I wanted to talk a little bit about Louis Vuitton's Cognac collection. It's here. And out of all the collections this year, my two favorite have been the denim collection that they released earlier in January that I got the loop from and this collection, the Cognac collection. I wanted to talk about this. I have been on the fence with this collection, you all. So I wanted to talk a little bit about what might be some reasons why you might be interested in it. What might be some reasons that I personally might be interested in it. I'm looking at them on my iPad, so I have them all here. Well, I just wanna start off right off the bat with saying, this cognac collection, the color is everything, is it not? It's everything. It's rich, robust, creamy, buttery, smooth. It looks beautiful. It looks gorgeous. And I was really considering buying something from this piece. The problem for me is I just didn't know which piece to buy. I have been having conversations with some of you lovely friends about these pieces. In love with handbags, you bought the Speedy. So congratulations to you, hun. I see it. I see you. It's beautiful. So why don't we start with the Speedy? The Speedy Bandolier 25 coming in at 2710. I mean, look at that jacket that woman's got on. She's got this. Look at this jacket with the Speedy. Wow. I gotta say, if I was going to buy a Speedy, it would be this one. I'm pretty sure. This one or the Nomad, I did say that. I love the color of this bag. What is drawing me in is this beautiful rich color. Even though it's the Jayant print, because it's all one color, it's not even like it's in your face. I think this might actually be something that turns people on with this bag. And like, if you're new to Louis Vuitton, this color, this bag, this everything, this whole look might actually turn you on to the brand, especially if you were seeking something that was not monogram, because it looks classic. It looks divine. It looks so classy. It looks nice. It does. This is 2710, you guys. I think that is so expensive. But then again, the loop was 2440. The loop that I bought was 2440 and you're definitely going to get a lot that's going to fit more in this bag than you are the loops and it's already sold out so if you were able to get your hand on this bag i think you definitely made a good decision in love with handbags i think you definitely you made a good choice all right i want to take a look at the fallacy so the thing about the fallacy for me even though it's beautiful i don't know if i like the price of it the fallacy is eight inches across 4.7 in height, 1.2 width. The Eva clutch, this is the Eva clutch. This is nine inches across. It's about three and a half inches high and it's 1.2 inches width. So you're gonna to start to see a similarity with the Eva clutch that you see with the Phyllisy in the width. And then the difference is gonna come in in the height and the length. Now, I love my Eva clutch because it fits a lot. The thing about the Felicity pochette is you're going to get the envelope pouches that come with the Felicity that I think makes it a worthy investment. The extra pieces to come with it is what's going to make it worthwhile getting a piece like this. I just don't know if the Felicity holds enough. So that would be the one reason why I would not get this bag. The other reason would be I have the toiletry pouch on chain for what, $17.40. So another $120 and you can get something but that's probably a little bit bigger. And you can also get the interior pouch that comes with it. If you're really going for just the color of this collection, I don't know if I was spraying for the fill seat over a different piece from Louis Vuitton. That might be a little bit more, but it's still relatively in the same price category and you might be able to get another piece with it, like the toiletry pouch on chain, like I said. That's my thought about the Phyllisy is that it's beautiful, but you get a, a chain with it, um, you get a couple inserts with it. It comes in multiple colors, which is 
lovely. In fact, the color that I like for this is in the red and the scarlet. But other than that, I don't think this would be the one piece that I would buy in the Cognac collection. The next piece we're going to talk a little bit about is the Zippy wallet. And so I got my Zippy organizer wallet here. So the Zippy wallet is coming in at 1120 and the Zippy Organizer wallet was 985 So if you're in the mood for a wallet and you're looking for a Zippy and you don't have a Zippy, the question is, do you want to spend a little bit more money or do you, do you want the leather version? Were you interested in monogram? Because basically it's going to be the same thing. It's just, you know, price difference, color difference. If you get a wallet, having one in leather, having one in canvas, you're not going to go wrong. I was going to say having one in this color leather is probably ideal so that you don't see a lot of dirt and wear and tear, especially if it was a lighter color. I don't think a lot of dirt is going to show up on this color in the Zippy wallet. So I like the Zippy wallet in this color. It's just that I probably would go more for a bag in this color over the wallet. I personally might want to get a wallet in a different print, but if you already have the bags, the speedy bags, the never full bags, the on the go bags, and you don't have a zippy wallet and you like this color, it might be right up your alley then. The next bag I want to talk about is the Neverfull MM. So the Neverfull is coming in at $27.10. Is that expensive for a Neverfull? I mean, the canvas ones are now $2,000, right? $27, it's still under $3,000, I guess is the upside here. But what I'll say is I never wanted a Neverfull, but I would buy this one. <laughs> it's got a microfiber lining interior you're going to get the removable zip pouch you're going to get everything with this bag i just love the color of this bag i do the color of this bag is enough to make me feel like maybe i'm interested in a never full maybe i'm interested in a bag in this color i'm telling you i'm really on the fence and when the more and more i stare at this never full the more and more i stare at this color the more i'm drawn to it so We'll see if I'm like some of you out there and it's just a matter of time. We'll see. <laughs> what do I think about uh, the Neverfull in the cognac color? I'm just looking at the bend of the side here and I'm just wondering how is that leather material going to look if you fold it in like that? I don't know. I think I'm like, uh, I'm going to wait and see. I love the microfiber lining. I love this rich cognac color. I just love this line. I'm gonna move on lastly to the On The Go. This is in GM and it's $3,500. I think personally, I like this color in the Neverfull over the GM On The Go. I'm just looking at the model, I'm looking at her holding it and I just don't know why I feel like the Neverfull looks so much richer in the cognac color than the photograph of the woman carrying the On The Go. Maybe it's a photograph, maybe it looks different in person, but I just felt like it popped a little bit more with the Neverfull. And it could be because that style, that bag is just, the shape of it is so well known, really drew my eye in. So yeah. on the go, I gotta say, it's just not popping for me the way the Neverfull did. And I also don't think I like the Jayant print on the on the go. I'm definitely backing away from that Jayant print now that I'm looking at the bag without on its own without the women holding it. And I'm thinking to myself, I think that's a little too much for me. That's my personal opinion about the on the go versus the Neverfull. That's my personal opinion about the Cognac collection. I think it is beautiful. Louis Vuitton knocked it out of the park with this color. What is the one overarching piece of feedback that I have for Louis Vuitton with this line? You know what I'm going to say. I know you know me. I wonder how many people have already dropped the comment down. There's no feet anywhere, Louis Vuitton. I can't handle it, Louis Vuitton. I can't handle it. Now, I know that they're not likely to come out and putting on feet on these items because they have it for any of the past collections, even though it's the same bag. But nevertheless, could you just not imagine if any of these had gold feet on them? 
how much more poppin' and beautiful they would be. They would be amazing. I feel like that's like the one piece missing, especially when you look at all the gold hardware on the on the go and the Neverfull and the Speedy. Some gold feet, like all the gold hardware is currently at the top of the bag. If you look at it, it's all at the top of the bag. The the little tassels on the Neverfull, the, on the strings, the clasp on the hand straps, uh, the little tassels on the side with the, the um, screws on the side of the on the go, all the gold is at the top of the bag. When your eyes fall down the shape of the bag, the side of the bag, all the way to the bottom of the bag, it's naked. There's nothing there welcoming you to continue taking in the experience, Louis Vuitton. So I'm just letting you know what easily can be rectified because I think adding feet to all your bags would actually just drive your pricing through the roof. We probably wouldn't be able to say no, right? You'd probably get people like me off the fence like that. Anyway, that's my feedback. Until the next time. Oh.